All oxidative steps in degradation of carbohydrates, fats, and amino acids converge at a final stage of cellular respiration, known as oxidative phosphorylation, in which energy of oxidation drives the synthesis of ATP. Three types of electron transfers occurs in oxidative phosphorylation. First, electrons can be transferred as hydride ion, which bears two electrons, such as the reduction of NAD plus to NADH, catalyzed by NAD-linked dehydrogenases in various catabolic pathways. Electron transfer can also occur through hydrogen atom, which bears one electron. The oxidized flavonucleotide FMN or FAD can accept either one electron yielding the semiquinone form or two electrons yielding FADH2 or FMNH2. The reduction of FAD to FADH2 is also catalyzed by FAD-linked dehydrogenases throughout catabolic pathways. Another electron carrier that can transfer either one or two electrons is a small hydrophobic compound known as ubiquinone, abbreviated as Q. Ubiquinone can accept one electron to become the semiquinone radical or two electrons to form ubiquinone, or QH2. Oxygen atom typically accept two electrons as hydride, but it can occasionally accept one electron, resulting in the formation of reactive oxygen species such as superoxide anion and hydroxyl radical, which has been talked about in my video titled Biological Oxidation and Reduction. Finally, the third type of electron transfer occurs directly through the reduction of iron 3 plus to iron 2 plus, which occurs in iron sulfur centers, the heme cofactor, and iron copper centers. The respiratory chain is located on the inner mitochondrial membrane. It involves four main multiprotein complexes. The electron carriers alternate reduce and oxidize states as they accept and donate electrons. Electrons are passed from carriers with lower reductive potential to carriers with higher and higher reductive potential, which correlates to electron affinity. The flow of electron from lower reductive potential to higher reductive potential releases a huge amount of energy that is used to pump proton from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space. Complex 1 is also known as NADH dehydrogenase. Electrons from NADH pass through a flavyl protein with the cofactor FMN to a series of iron sulfur centers and finally to ubiquinone, which is reduced to ubiquinone, or QH2. The free energy released from the flow of electron pumps four protons out of the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space. Complex 2 is also known as succinate dehydrogenase. It is the only membrane-bound enzyme in the citric acid cycle, in which electrons from succinate pass through a flavyl protein with the cofactor FAD, then through several iron sulfur centers, lastly reducing ubiquinone to ubiquinone. Complex 3 is also known as ubiquinone cytochrome C oxidoreductase, which couples the transfer of electrons from ubiquinone to cytochrome C with the transport of protons from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space. The Q cycle is a proposed mechanism that accommodates the switch between two electron carrier ubiquinone and the one electron carriers, which are hemes of cytochrome B and cytochrome C. Complex 4 is also known as cytochrome oxidase in which electrons from cytochrome C pass through iron copper center and reduces molecular oxygen to water. Therefore, the purpose of oxygen in aerobic respiration is to act as the final electron acceptor. Oxygen has the highest reduction potentials out of all the electron carriers in respiratory chain, which means that it has high affinity for electron. Therefore, the reduction of oxygen releases energy, which is also coupled to the transport of proton from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space. So far, the respiratory chain involves the transfer of electron from electron carriers with lower reduction potential, including NADH and succinate, to the final electron carrier oxygen, which has high reduction potential. This process is highly favorable and releases a huge amount of free energy, which is coupled to the pumping of proton from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space by complex 1, 3, and 4, conserving the energy of electron transfer in proton motive force, which is the electrochemical potential energy generated by the difference in proton concentration and separation of charge across the inner mitochondrial membrane. The second stage of oxidative phosphorylation involves chemiosmosis 
in which proton motive force is coupled to the synthesis of ATP, which is facilitated by ATP synthase. First, protons flow down their electrochemical gradient and enter a channel in a stator, which is anchored in the membrane. Protons then enter binding sites within a rotor, also known as the F0 complex. The binding of protons changes the shape of each subunit in the rotor, causing the rotor to spin within the membrane. Each proton makes one complete turn before leaving the rotor and passing through a second channel in the stator into the mitochondrial matrix. Spinning of the rotor causes the internal rod to spin as well. The rod extends into a catalytic knob known as the F1 complex, which is held stationary by part of the stator. Turning of the rod activates catalytic sites in the knob that produces ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. This mechanism is known as rotational catalysis. Inorganic phosphate is imported into the mitochondrial matrix by a symporter known as phosphate translocase, which is driven by the simultaneously transfer of proton into the mitochondrial matrix. The transfer of ADP into the mitochondrial matrix is coupled to the transfer of ATP out of the mitochondrial matrix by an empty porter known as adenine nucleotide translocase. Oxidative phosphorylation can be interfered by various agents. Rhodanone and amidol can prevent electron transfer from iron sulfur center to ubiquinone in complex 1. Melanate is a competitive inhibitor of succinate dehydrogenase. Antimycin A can block electron transfer from cytochrome B to cytochrome C1 in complex 3. Cyanide and carbon monoxide can inhibit complex 4. Oligomycin inhibits the rotor or F0 complex of ATP synthase. Thermogenin is a mitochondrial carrier protein found in brown adipose tissue, also known as BAT. It is also known as uncoupling protein 1 or UCP1. It increases the permeability of the inner mitochondrial membrane, which decreases the proton gradient generated in oxidative phosphorylation, uncoupling proton motive force and ATP synthesis. As a result, the free energy stored in proton motive force is released as heat, a mechanism known as non-shivering thermogenesis that is used by babies to counter heat loss. DMP or 2,4-dinitrophenol is a hydrophobic proton carrier that also decreases the proton gradient generated in oxidative phosphorylation, uncoupling proton motive force and ATP synthesis. Lastly, phalanomycin is a potassium ionophore that facilitates the movement of potassium ions out of the mitochondrial matrix, decreasing the electro gradient in proton motive force, which in turn decreases ATP synthesis. Atractylocyte inhibits the adenine nucleotide translocase. NADH enters the respiratory chain at complex 1. As a result, a total of 10 protons are pumped out of the mitochondrial matrix per pair of electrons transferred from NADH, which drives the synthesis of about 2.5 ATP. On the other hand, FADH2 enters the respiratory chain at complex 2, which only transports about 6 protons out of the mitochondrial matrix, producing about 1.5 ATP. The oxidation of glucose to carbon dioxide produces 2 ATP and 2 NADH from glycolysis, 2 NADH by pyruvate dehydrogenase, and 6 NADH, 2 FADH2, and 2 GTP from 2 rounds of citric acid cycle, making a total of 2 ATP, 2 GTP, 10 NADH, and 2 FADH2 per glucose. Each GTP is equivalent to 1 ATP. 10 NADH is equivalent to 25 ATP, and 2 FADH2 is equivalent to 3 ATP. Therefore, the total ATP yield of a glucose molecule is about 32 ATP. However, the 2 NADH produced from glycolysis, which occurs in the cytosol, can enter the mitochondrial matrix by two different shuttles. NADH transported by the malate aspartate shuttle enters complex 1, therefore generates a total of 5 ATP. However, NADH transported by the glycerol-3-phosphate shuttle enters the respiratory chain through complex 2, generating only 3 ATPs. Therefore, the ATP yield of glucose molecule is actually either 30 or 32 ATPs. Depending on the shuttle that transports cytosolic NADH into the mitochondrial matrix, the malate aspartate shuttle versus the glycerol-3-phosphate shuttle will be covered in a future video.